Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging of some new fab products uh, and these have come to me from newcrafty.com. Uh, yeah, go and check out the website. They've got some fab stuff on and I've got a few bits to show you from them. And then I've got a completion review. Uh, these came in my last package from New Crafty. So if you check out my playlist for New Crafty for last month, uh, you will see the full unboxing on these. And these are lovely little brooches so i've not put the brooch backs on yet because i want to seal them first um, and i need to have them completely flat before i seal them so that's why at the moment uh they are backless as it were but yeah look they're absolutely gorgeous they're real Christmassy, um, I say I'm very red, green, and gold Christmas. Uh, this one's a little bit different. This one's got your pale blue and uh, pink there, and your silver. So just a little bit, uh, depending on what you're wearing, I suppose. If you're going on a night out, you could wear this one. Uh, you could use them as key rings. I suppose you could put a backing on, use a um, glue gun or maybe some silicone glue or something. But I'm going to use them as brooches, and then you can always once the brooch pin is on you can always clip them onto a christmas tree or something and use them as decoration uh, oh they look quite nice actually if you've got uh, say a ribbon to put your christmas cards on just fasten one of these on the bottom uh, and it just makes it that little bit heavier to keep the ribbon straight so yeah a few different ideas for them so that's the candy canes and the uh, little snowflake there and then we got our Christmas tree, which I just think this is great because it's even got like a lighter colour at this side. So the light's coming from that side and the little glistening baubles on it. It's very, very sparkly. And then we've got a bell and it has a little star on it. Look as well, a little star decoration. Again, two tone on the um, bow there at the top, just to give it that little bit uh, extra interest. And again, we've got... Oop. <laughs> It's alive! We've got a light source coming from this side there as well. So that's the bell. And then finally, the little packages. I think they're gorgeous. Really, really pretty. So Christmassy and so sparkly. So, yeah, if you can't wear a brooch that sparkles at Christmas, when can you wear one? So the price of those was uh, £4.33, pence, I think and we've got the five of them yeah and there was 18 different gems so quite a few big special ones to put away i think they're a, yeah they're a slightly bigger one as well oh we did uh, we did only have enough stars just to do uh, the christmas tree and those but i have got a lot of stars so that's fine but we didn't actually run out of any. Uh, we had just enough on the stars. So that's another larger one. Then we've got standards in blue. That's a slightly larger one again. And then these are all the standards. That's a silver. I'll put that in my silver jar. It must have been the silver stars that I ran out of because I've got a gold star there. Or, so, or I've put them together anyway. I don't know what I've done. But anyway, I had plenty to do my project. So these will all go in my generics for kitting down. But look how many of them I've got left. No, I don't like it when you've got plenty. I don't like it when you've got, to, you get into the end of your tray and you think, I've still got loads to do. I hope I'm not going to run out. I start getting, uh, oh no, I can't run out of gems. So yeah, they will go into sort of kitting down so that I can get those sorted. Okay. And that's just a in a little bag to do they want to go in there so yeah i just thought you might like to see these this little completion uh, i am working on the other projects as well but as you know i am a little bit behind after hubby being in hospital uh, but he has gone for his uh, treatment today so yay i've got uh, a free morning so i thought right i'll pop on get this unbagging done and then i can diamond paint until he comes home yay should really be doing housework but Nah, it's Christmas. Yay. <laughs> right, so let's see what we got. A uh, huge thank you, newcraftegg.com, for sending me these. They have got some special offers on at the moment, and I will put full details 
uh, across the screen and in uh, the description and everything as well. So if you spend $40, you get a free gift. We like free. And if you spend $60, you get free shipping and toll free gifts. So yeah, free shipping and free gifts. We like that one. Yay! So we have oh, a project. So I'll turn that round because it's come in a box. No spoilers. And then we have, oh, a painting. I think you might know what that one is. And then, oh, another painting. Okay. Right. So what shall we look at first? I'm going to leave the box till last. And we'll look at the pictures. So, yeah, I'm having to uh, get my Christmas decorations up and decide which ones I'm doing and which ones are going up and which ones are going where. Um, and I've even got to the point where I think I'm going to sort out which pictures are going to go where and actually put them on the walls. Not done. <laughs> Them. leave me a comment down below if you think that sounds crazy but i just thought well at least then the picture's up and it's only if somebody looks at it closely they'll think why has it got all letters and numbers all over it <laughs> lazy christmas <laughs> oh dear well i have lost three weeks what can i say right so this one is just so pretty look at this it's a gorgeous little Christmas tree. Yay! So we have like um, an ombre effect almost going from a blue, dark blue and then up to purple or even maybe a rainbow, but there's not really a... Well, I suppose there's red in the gems. It's 15 different colours. Uh, the price of this one was £3.73, pence, which is excellent value. It's brilliant. Uh, we've got a pen boat and wax your standard little tool kit. And all of these little dots look all the way around this tree are actually little gems. So it's really, really going to sparkle. And no, I won't be cutting this one out. <laughs> I'm not cutting around those gems. So yeah, it will be going in one of my magnetic frames. And as always, I seem to have run out of that uh, small square pictures. Uh, yeah, I seem to, I don't know, they must be the ones that I gift people the most. That's all I can think. I seem to have a lot of frames and not as many pictures to put in them. And they're quite nice just to slot into little places and have little bits um, of like a, a scene, as it were. You know, put one, two or three together and cluster them together. So, yeah, but how pretty is that? And I do like my trees. I do love a good Christmas tree. Uh, we've got lots of sparkly decorations, outdoor decorations up around here at the moment and Christmas trees and things. Our neighbours made a fantastic Christmas tree um, from wooden pallets. So it's actually like square, a bit like a pyramid shape. And then he's put lights all the way down it in different colours and it looks spectacular. As you come round the corner, it's sort of on the corner just before our house and it looks brilliant. It looks like it's ours. <laughs> it's not. Unfortunately, we haven't got any outdoor ones this year. Right, back to the picture, Liz. This is what everybody's come to see, not you waffling. Uh, right, so as I say, 15 different gems and colours. 30 by 30, so yeah, with a standard 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. And uh, it just needs a little bit of a flatten because it's come a long way and it needs a good flatten out there. And let's have a look at these sparkly gems. Woo! Okay. Oops, just pop that over there a moment. So, where do we start? Where do we start? Let's start at number one. That would seem to... Oh, I've just seen a special gem. That looks wonderful. So, <laughs> we've got an orangey amber colour and a lime green and a lovely deep purple and then a sort of a bluey purple. That's like a midnighty blue purple. Hot pink. Yay, it's got a hot pink. And then a lemony colour. A little bit greeny lemon, that one. And a pale green and a lilac colour and then lots of little stars they're pretty they're like tiny ones and then some semispheres in the gold colour and then some larger semispheres in the gold colour they don't have any facets on oh and then look at those midnight blue rounds wow they're gorgeous and then some uh, red they're like a cabochon they actually they look very much like glass but they're not glass they are the acrylic but once they're on your painting, they do look very effective without the uh, facets on them. Look at the hot pink large round. Oh, look at those shiny, shiny. And then look at these. Wow. 
magpie Liz thinks these are wonderful so we have I think yeah they have they've got an iridescent coating on so they're like around with all little tiny round bobbles on them um, and then that coating on the top so they're going to be all the decoration on the tree so quite a nice easy quick one to do because there's quite a few specials um, what I tend to do with one like this actually although I usually like leaving my specials till last because it's like saving the best till last um, but because these are quite close to the other gems the smaller gems I will be putting all of these on first and then putting the smaller gems in because sometimes when you put the uh, standard crystal the standard gems on your painting you find that then you've maybe not quite left enough space and then you have to do a lot more of a wiggle whereas if the big gem is already on the painting then it's easier just to slot round rather than trying to slot the big one into a small spot if you get my meaning so that's the way i'll be doing this one so i do really prefer to leave them till last now these don't want to fold up properly look <laughs> come on look you've got to go back in the bag oh look i was never any good at folding maps either <laughs> that's it <laughs> right back in the bag you'll go and we'll have a look at the next one okay and this one is another christmasy one i'm afraid this is all christmasy no i'm not afraid this is all christmasy i love christmas i just happen to have run out of time this year um but yeah i uh, who needs sleep who needs sleep <laughs> So this is another little one and it is, look at that, isn't that just absolutely cute and pretty and oh look, isn't he a lovely Santa? There's nothing nicer than a little cute lovely little Santa. I'm not quite sure what he's holding. Is it like a snowball? Yeah, I think it's a snowball because it's got the same colour as his beard so it's going to be white so oh maybe he's not quite such a nice stand ah now then look we've got looks like a snowball there because that's his bobble on his hat so that's not going to be a bobble on a hat is it so that could be somebody's throwing a snowball at him so he says well if you're going to throw one that size at me i'm going to throw one this size at you <laughs> Dear, unless it's like a crystal ball and he's looking to see where he needs to go next but he is so gorgeous i just uh, yeah i thought oh i've got to have that look he's got like little baby blue eyes and that little nose and cheeks they're all red from being out in the frost yeah he looks quite happy though i think it must be a friendly snowball fight it's not going to be a an awful one is it you know santa's gonna be really really nice unless you've been naughty and then uh, maybe there's a piece of coal in the middle of that one. <laughs> oh dear right so santa we are again 30 by 30 it's eight different colors so it's quite a quickish one to do and we are 25 by 25 which is a nice little size to go in my frames get more on the wall as well if you do small ones you can have a lot more bling and a lot more pictures so again we have a pen butt and wax your standard little toolkit and the price of this one was only three pounds and 51 pence that is brilliant really good value cheaper than a cup of coffee and a bun or a biscuit and you have some buns if you're going and get a piece of cake or a bun or something three and four pound and i just think goodness me i'd someone go to the supermarket and buy a whole cake for that price okay. and what was it somebody said to me if you uh, only uh, keep the cake whole then it's actually only one piece isn't it <laughs> no even i'd struggle to eat a whole cake i'd like to think i could but my tummy would say no you're not having all that all at once <laughs> Ooh, oh okay so we've got a dark red and a little bit lighter red but it's still a dark red and a pale pink and a little bit of standard white and then we have some lovely clear crystal he's going to be a very very sparkly santa and a little bit of a bronzy color i think that's going to go on his gloves look he's got some brown gloves and then we've got some little silver stars and then some little white pearls at the end 
and the little white pearls are gonna be all like the little snowflakes coming down so it is snowing on him oh oh he is so cute i think the price is amazing so that is a santa claus and finally let's have a look at the one in the box Woo! we like boxes okay let's see what's in here all right oh we've got some special drill gems or oh, to open it that oh you see the picture that way oh well never mind so we have choo 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 it's a train it's a santa train look at that and then we have choo 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 we have santa train going the other way and then da, 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 da. oh we have lights and a little tool kit is that everything yes box is empty okay so we've got our standard tool kit oh and some little grip seal bags in this one as well so always handy particularly doing special drill projects right so this one is a building project look we get a little screwdriver with it okay now this wasn't new this year i don't believe it came out last year and it was one of those that was on my wish list and i just never got around to getting it and then i really kicked myself and i was fingers crossed that it would still be around this year and it is and i love it so what you're going to do is actually diamond paint both sides so you've got quite a bit of diamond painting to do and then you're going to put them side by side we've got our little stanchions that go in the middle oh oh we've got some little like uh, sticky pads as well i think that must be maybe to put the uh, lights on um so that they don't show and then these little stanchions and we've got all the little screws i have done a few of these projects in the past but uh, when i've done this one i will film putting it all together as usual because it's nice to see how to do it i do tend to watch youtube videos of other creators and um, if i'm not sure how to put something together i go searching and think right i'll see how somebody else did it first well i try to anyway that isn't always the plan um, as you know, I do sometimes come and just wing it when I come onto the <laughs> videos and just put them, I'll just give it a go. So we've got all little holes already uh, made into the uh, little base of the train there. And these will just go on the little extensions, the little pillars will all just go and be screwed in. And then once you've done one side, you'll then put this part on top and it just gives you that extra 3D effect. And then all the lights, which this one looks like it's just two uh, AAA batteries, which is great because it makes it a little bit lighter because the batteries are smaller and a little bit cheaper because there's only two in there as well. And that looks like it's the multicoloured lights as well, which are very, very pretty. Um, they did originally all used to come with the light-up ones with just your plain, uh, just like bright white lights or amber type lights but now they come with the colours and I think the colours particularly when you've got all these sparkles on this really make it pop so we've got a lovely Santa look he's hanging out of his little train window there all decorated with stars and bows and wow oh it's lovely and it looks like we've got like um oh a garland going across that come you know my brain went then uh, a garland going across the carriages so santa's hanging out look say ho 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 give us a hug and he's got two little stars in his hands look oh oh no he's holding that like a garland look he's maybe going to come and put that around your neck and say there you are you're a star <laughs> we've got a little like clown with a drum we've got a nutcracker there and then we've got a very smiley happy teddy at the end with a ball and a candy cane and we've got a trumpet there and a couple of little presents all wrapped so yay oh i love this i think it's very very christmasy and i said it is my colors but just with that little bit of blue on it as well so it will match in with an awful lot of uh, different color themes uh, with having the blue one so yeah and then it's just that little bit of lilac as well but that is so pretty but yeah quite a nice little project to do but quite a bit to do on it with it being double-sided as it were i mean if you didn't want it double-sided you could always um just you know use it as one piece and not bother with the extra bits and just maybe put it on the wall but i'll be making it into a little decoration 
So my dad used to work on steam trains uh, back in the day. So possibly he would like this one. He likes his trains. Albeit with that um, chimney, I think this is maybe an American big engine rather than one of our uh, steam trains that we have here in the UK. But I don't think that matters. It's still a train. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at these gems. So how many? Oh, we've got an A, B at the end. How many colours have we got? We've got in, oh, 11. 15. 15 different colours. Okay, so the specials are already bagged up. I like it when they come like that. Oh, and I've spotted a pink as well. So we've got a lovely honey gold and a Christmassy red. And we've got a hot pink, yay! And a gorgeous amber colour and a Christmassy green. And there's that blue look, a nice icy blue and an aqua blue. And your standard 310 black and another hot pink, another shade of hot pink. So we've got a darker one and a lighter one and your standard crystal. And then look, these are a standard white gem and they've got a coating on them, which is an Aurora Borealis coating. Uh, ABs, if you ever, ever hear anybody talking AB, um, it's the Aurora Borealis iridescent coating. So it like gives you an oil and water effect, you know, like if you walk past a puddle and it's got oil on it, you get all the different colours as you walk past. So yeah, it just makes it sparkle. You've got to have ABs at Christmas. You can't just have plain white. It's got to be an AB. And then our specials, so we've got number 14 is some little stars in gold. Number 12 is some very small, um, very small red, uh, very small red rounds with no facets on, so semispheres. Oh look, some little teeny tiny stars, so we've got two sizes of stars, wow. And you think they're small until you see the teeny tiny ones next to them. Look at those. Wow. And then we've got some little gold teardrops like champagne colour. And they're all very shiny. So, yeah, excellent. Loving this. Absolutely loving it. So, really looking forward to doing this one as well. Uh, I've got that many now on my wish list to do. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be sleeping between now and Christmas. So, what's new was the cry? <laughs> <laughs> okay i love the little screwdrivers as well these are so handy i've got them in drawers all over the house they're like a phillips screwdriver they've got the um like star-shaped head on them and uh, yeah i've got one in my handbag and everything so yeah it's always handy to have a little screwdriver so i've got them all over the place right i'll put actually they're a little bit sticky i'm not, not going to put those back in because they're just going to stick to everything and keep those together with those as well and then i'm going to pop the lights in there as well so when we get round to completing it and building it everything is together so wonderful loving that oh a great unboxing thoroughly enjoyed looking at these it's got me right in the christmas mode got some christmas wrapping of presents to do today so yeah and then i'm going to be diamond painting uh yeah i'd forgotten i've got my christmas presents to wrap and um, we've got family coming this week so we need to get them sort of handed out ready for christmas day because you never know with traffic and hubby being poorly and things at least if people have got the presents then uh, they can open them on christmas day rather than opening them afterwards so we have had a lovely colorful christmas tree with lots of different colors on our very cute cuddly little santa claus there and then a little bit more grown up santa i think this one in his train going to 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 with all his pre presents along and then we started off with the completed little brooches which i do need to get sealed we are going to need to seal these because they're going to get handled quite a lot and we don't want the gems coming off okay well huge thank you on your craftday.com for sending me these love them it's got me so much in the christmasy mood uh, apologies if you're not very keen on christmas but i'm afraid i'm a big kid and i absolutely love it uh, don't forget to go and check out that special offer to get your free gifts if you spend over your 40 dollars or your 60 dollars and uh, yeah just double check if the offers are still on obviously if you're watching this um at a future time from when i've made the video there may be different special offers on so just double check 
if you've enjoyed looking at these as much as i have a thumbs up is always very much appreciated just gives me a little boast with the old chobe as well if you've got any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to come back and uh, not miss anything and join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button just down in that corner and all notifications bell will pop up. And if you click on that, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. It'll just come up. Oh, Liz has uploaded a new video and you can come and say hello. <laughs> right. Thank you ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.